backyard gardens, you love to pickle. But instead of buying them at the store, why don't you make them yourselves? Jenny Fink, certified integrative nutrition health coach. Wow, from good for you, gluten free, is here to show us how. Hi, Hi. Jenny, how are you? I'm good, thank uh, you. So, this is a 94 year old grandma's recipe. Yes, this is my husband's grandmother's recipe. Her name's Dorothea Flax. But and I we love call her. Boo boo. Boo boo. Yeah. Hey, boo boo. Is she watching, you think? I hope so. Oh, hey, boo boo. How are you? God love you. <laughs> 94 years old. And this is her recipe. Her recipe. So, if people have cucumbers in the backyard. Yes. Now these are small ones. These are small ones, and I actually got these at the Cherry Creek Farmers Market you did from Polite on Saturday? Farms. Okay. Um, on Wednesday, oh, yesterday, Wednesday. I got them as fresh as possible. Okay. I scrubbed them and gave them a bath yesterday. All right. So obviously, a dill pickle means you got to put dill in dill. there. Right? Yes. Yeah, so this is um, fresh dill. I peel it here. This is big dill. You can buy mm -hmm. the small, uh, small dill as well. So you I fill a mason jar with, yeah. with with cucumbers. Yes. With well, you put some salt in. Okay. And I also have um, some garlic, garlic. cloves. And I like these hot chili peppers. They're oh, dry. This is a great. So chili really peppers delicious. and garlic, you can't go Gives wrong. Gives it a little kick. Do you have to smash up the garlic or do you just no, leave I it just in there? No, I just put them in whole. Okay. And then what you'll want to do is another layer of pickles on top of that. And that's why I like so, to get these two and three inch pickles. Okay. Yeah, and you really just so you like you pack the them in ones. there. Now, yeah. if, you had, if you have a big cucumber patch in your backyard, can you still use big ones? Yeah, you can use the big ones. You can cut them. A lot of people like to do sliced pickles. Okay. Um, but what we're basically doing is fermenting these pickles. And the difference between store-bought pickles and the pickles that you'll make at home is that these are going to be fermented. They're going to have good bacteria in it. It's going to be a natural probiotic. Kind of like a sauerkraut or exactly. things like that. Yes, exactly. Yes. And when you buy them at the store, they're usually, they usually have preservatives or high right. heat that kills all the bacteria. Really? Okay. So these are much more nutritional. And it's, more nutrition and it's fresh. Yes, and they're so, fresh. So again, you got salt on the bottom. Salt on the you've bottom. You've got uh, a chili pepper. you got garlic. And you can put in as much as you want. Yep. Wow. And then you just pack the pickles in as tight and as possible. And then what do you put in there? No. Um, and so I'd probably put a couple more pickles if I could, Would just you? to get okay. them as you know wow. packed in there as possible. But pack it um, in those pickles. Pack <laughs> in the pickles. <laughs> and then um, filtered water or distilled water, you'll fill it up. All right, so just distilled water. Yeah, and then you fill it up to about three about, fourths. Yeah, almost all the way because you want it to have no no air in it really for the fermentation to How work. About vinegar. And then I put a little bit of vinegar because not a lot. Just a little. Boo Boo says that this helps give it a little crunch. And helps it from it's like not getting so too much soft. The taste, but yeah, so like a scant teaspoon. Okay. Oh, we gotta measure it like that. Wow, and that's then it. you'll just seal it really tight. All right, now the question is how long do you ferment it? So you ferment it for about two to three weeks, depending on how big your pickles are. Uh -huh. And um, you wanna do it in a cold, dark place, so like a basement. And you'll wanna check on them every few days because, because there's no air in there. The mm -hmm. air is gonna try to escape, and you'll see it could leak. Um, yes, the tops top. could pop. Um, and you actually want to come in and tighten right. them every so, so often. So you need to leave it in a dark area. If you don't have a yep. basement, a closet, or yes. something like that. Yes, dark, cool area. So are these already done? No, these are not done. I did them. I made them yesterday. Oh, okay. So in about two to three weeks, we're going to have pickles. And mm. then you put them in your fridge after they're to the texture that you like, yep. and that will slow the fermentation. And you can have them for three, six, even nine months. Oh, I think really? about a year, they get a little soft. In the refrigerator. In the refrigerator, it'll it'll stop or really okay. slow the fermentation. Right. Ms. Fink, thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank Boo Boo. I will. All right. Now. Hi, Boo Boo. <laughs> All right, you can find the recipe on how to make your own dill pickles on the TV section of our website, kwgn.com. It's, it's, I love a good dill, dill pickle. Awesome, yeah. me too. Thank you. Thank you. All right, back to you guys in the studio. Amen to that. And you know, pickles and no.